Yo, what's up everyone, Ufo here, and today we have got Mythbusters. For you guys that do not know what Mythbusters is, it's a series we do on this channel where we get a myth from the comment section, we then go into a game, test the myth out, and we either confirm the myth or we bust the myth. It's always super fun and we have got a ton of myths today to try. And let's just hop right into it with the first myth. Does leaving a like on my videos get you guys a legendary card? I get a ton of these comments saying that after they've liked, they got a legendary card. Even my clan is saying it. And you guys can see Millerman is the proof. So I want you guys to all like this video and then let me know in the comment section if this myth is confirmed or busted. Also, if you guys could subscribe, that would be amazing. It really supports me. But for real now, let's hop into it. Starting off with our first myth. You can get a colored name inside Clash Royale if you put brackets C2 in front of your name. So I switched to my double O pro account and that's exactly what we do. We do angle bracket C2 angle bracket double O pro. We confirm it and then we go into a battle and you guys can see my name is red at the start of the game and at the end of the game my name appears red and it's very cool if you guys want a different color i will put all the colors on the screen and you need pass royale for this to work talk about pay to win but no this is very awesome this myth is confirmed and let's hop right into the next myth and the next myth is you can activate your king tower with an expo now we all love a king tower activation it just makes the game easier but activating it with an expo is one of the hardest buildings to activate it with but it is possible you can see here they set up an expo i played a bomb tower in front of my king tower the expo starts to shoot the bomb tower and because they log away the bomb tower the expo actually ends up shooting the king tower therefore activating it like i said it's one of the hardest activations to do but it is possible and this myth is confirmed moving on to the next myth here it's if you lose the tutorial you cannot play Clash Royale anymore. As we all know at the start of the game we get a tutorial teaching us how to play and I tried to lose in every single game. There are five stages on the tutorial and I try to lose in every single stage. Stage one, if you try to lose, the AI actually mocks you, which I think is pretty funny. But stage one and two, they do not play any troops, so they cannot take your towers. But when we get to stage three, they can actually take your towers and you can actually lose. You guys can see I've lost, but all that happens is it takes you back to the main menu and you have to try that tutorial level again. So this myth is busted. Mm. Losing the tutorial does not stop you from playing Clash Royale. And let's move on. You can make two Dark Princes jump over the river forever. So we go into a game, we both drop a Dark Prince and you guys can see they actually do just jump back and forward forever. If I do not play a single card, they would do this for the rest of time. And this myth is confirmed. The next myth here is you can activate your King Tower against a Miner using a fisherman. Now being a royal giant player, I know this myth is confirmed. If they play a miner at the back of your tower, you can actually place your fisherman in this spot and he will activate your king tower. The fisherman pulls in the miner and he actually hits the king tower instead of the fisherman. It only works for this one placement, but it's still pretty awesome to know and this is confirmed. Moving on to the next myth, an inferno dragon can beat an inferno tower in a bridge battle. Now this one is interesting. We all know the inferno tower has a bigger range than the inferno dragon so if they're just casually walking towards each other the inferno tower always wins but what if we place them both at the same time at the bridge we both play infernos at the same time and you guys can see they both heat up and the inferno tower actually wins just because it has more hit points it was very close but this myth is busted the inferno dragon will not win in this bridge battle moving on you can have a one card deck in the tutorial. Now after every single tutorial battle I tried to clear my deck and every single time it said complete the training. After we completed the training I then cleared the deck again it would finally let me but then it says you need eight cards to battle so this myth is busted. I know you used to be able to do this but I think they patched it and yo that's going to wrap it up for Mythbusters. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did make sure you leave a like. Of course subscribe if you have not already. If you have any of your own myths, leave them in the comment section. And as always, make sure you guys take care, brush your hair, and peace out. Woo!